Hey guys, retired Sergeant First Class Bites here. I just wanted to make a quick video regarding this new $50,000 sign-on bonus that the Army is offering and provide you my feedback. Ultimately, the Army is lacking soldiers in certain military occupational specialties, so they're offering extra incentives in hopes to gain more interest. The Army has been pretty clever on their tactic here. They say that they have a $50,000 bonus, but there's not a lot of information on it. That's a tactic. The reason for this, they want civilians to call Army recruiters to seek information on the bonus. That recruiter's goal will be to get you into their office to talk to you about said bonus and try to persuade you to join. That recruiter knows that once they get you into their office, there's a good chance of getting you to enlist regardless of the bonus because only a few will get the full 50,000. To get the full 50K, there's some contractual agreements you must make. So let's get into this. Here's one of the articles I found with the most information available regarding the bonus, and I'll highlight the major areas. The U.S. Army is offering its largest bonus ever for new recruits with up to $50,000 available to qualified individuals who sign on for a six-year active duty enlistment. The total incentive package for a new recruit is based on a combination of incentives offered for the selected career field, individual qualifications, length of enlistment contract, and the ship date for training. In the past, enlistment incentives for full-time soldiers could not exceed 40000 The Army is competing for the same talent as the other services as well as the private sector and must have the ability to generate interest in the current employment environment. Basically, civilian jobs, other services, everybody is competing against each other, and the Army has to stay relevant. This is an opportunity to entice folks to consider the Army. We've taken a look at the critical military occupational specialties. He's talking about the critical skill MOS list we need to fill in order to maintain the training bases and this is where we have placed our emphasis. Career-based incentives range from $1,000 up to $40,000 for select occupations the Army needs to fill right now or finds difficult to fill because of the specific qualifications required. Aside from career-based bonuses, there are quick ship bonuses for those who are prepared to head to basic combat training within 90 days. These incentives range from $2,000 to $9,000, so the sooner an individual ships, the higher the dollar amount. There are individual incentives for signing up for airborne or ranger schools. I have videos on both on my channel. Opting to jump from airplanes can get a recruit $10,000, while becoming ranger qualified can bring up to $20,000. It's a combination of these incentives that will get a new recruit up to the $50,000 maximum. For example, a six-year enlistment as an air and missile defense crew member starts with a $40,000 bonus. Right now, that occupation also qualifies for a $9,000 critical accessions bonus. If the individual decides to ship to training, within the next 90 days, the addition of the quick ship bonus would get the recruit to the maximum amount. If you have questions about that, comment below. I'm tracking. We know this generation likes to have the opportunity to make their own decisions, so now they can choose where they want to be assigned after training. We didn't have that last year. We also have open two-year enlistments for 84 different career fields. If this was just complete jargon to you and you didn't understand it, go ahead and comment below and I will give you an answer. And if I can't get the answer myself, I will reach out to somebody that can clarify anything that we need to clarify. Thanks for watching. This is retired Sergeant First Class Bites. I'm out.